let's talk about this. The 50 mil 1.4 Leica M mount from TT Artisan, not Seven Artisan. Do not confuse the two companies, they are completely different companies. This lens is from TT Artisan and it's a new lens for the Leica M mount. The nice part about Leica M mount lenses is they can be adapted for most cameras out there. Most mirrorless cameras will take these lenses. So if you want a manual focus lens for your mirrorless camera, this is a really nice lens to go for. Now, this video was planned for last weekend, but I had a little bit of a problem. I ran out of chemicals and I couldn't develop the roll of HP5 that I shot on the M6 and this lens. So that's why it's a little bit late. It took a little bit longer than I planned for the chemicals to get here. Um, I've developed the film and you're gonna see them at the end of this video in a slideshow from the M10P there'll be photos, the color photos will be from the M10P and all the black and white photos will be shot on HP5 um, from the M6 and this lens. Now this lens is a new lens from TT Artisan um, and they are really making some very special lenses. On the M6 is the 50mm 0.95 they make and I reviewed this a little while ago, probably about a month ago I think. Um, and this is a new lens from them and this completely shocked me how good this lens was. I didn't expect it to be as good as it is. Um, at 0.95 in the center, it is unbelievably sharp. It is a really, really nice lens. But as you can see, it's a really big lens. I don't think I carry with me all the time. Um, if I wanted some unique photos, I definitely would use that. Or if I'm doing very low light or nighttime photography, this would be a really good lens for that. Now I don't shoot 50 mil or even 35 mil. I shoot 28 mil. If you compare the 50 mil f1.4 lens from TT Artisan to my 28mm Summicron from Leica, you see there's hardly any difference in size. The 50mm is an f1.4, the Summicron is an f2. They're virtually identical in size, and the actual 50mm has a focusing tab as well, exactly the same as the Summicron, it's actually exactly the same shape, which makes it much easier to focus. Obviously this is a f1.4 lens, so it goes from 1.4 all the way up to f16. Um, and it's a nice gentle click. It's not a solid click, but you definitely know where you are with your apertures. And the actual focus has a focus tab, and it's a very smooth focus. You will notice the lens will protrude out a little bit as you focus, but it's nothing to worry about. The closest focusing distance is 0 0.7 meters or seven centimeters, like most Leica lenses. And obviously it goes to infinity. Now the nice part about the infinity on this is it is infinity. It's not infinity plus a little bit like some lenses are. You can bang it right round to infinity because it's got a hard stop on it and you know that's infinity. So if you're shooting a landscape or something further away and you want to capture it quite quickly, you can just bang the focus right round to infinity and it is infinity. This is my Summicron, which is the Leica lens and this is the TT Artisan lens. Um, the quality of these lenses is definitely getting better. Now let's talk about the lens and what I think of it. As you know of my reviews, I try to keep them as quick and as simple as possible. This is an amazing lens. Sometimes some products come along and they shock me and they're like, oh, okay, that was better than I thought it would be. And sometimes products come along and I don't understand them. I don't understand how this lens is only 369 US dollars and it's this quality. I've owned the 50 mil Sumalux, which is the Leica equivalent of this, and it's around about six and a half thousand New Zealand dollars, I think. Beautiful lens, but I didn't keep it because I would only use it a few times a year and it's a lot of money to have in the lens that I'm not going to use so much. This lens is unbelievably sharp at 1.4. It's like the 50mm 0.95. But with this lens, you hardly get any vignetting. I've not noticed any strong vignetting with it, which is really nice. And the corners are a little bit soft, but not bad. I wouldn't say they were really bad. They're not really noticeable to be truthful. And if you shoot at 1.4, I don't think you're gonna notice the corners too much. Now, the one thing I will say is the out of focus area or the bokeh is a little bit busy. It's not as smooth as a Leica. I definitely not as smooth as a Leica, but it's quite unique. It has a very unique look to it. The lens has a very contrasty punch to it as well. And I hate to say it, and I know I'm gonna get some really bad comments down below. It looks like a Leica lens. It has the punch of a Leica lens. Now, when I shot it with the M10P, I shot it in standard profile and I've not edited the photos in any way. They are direct out of the camera, JPEGs, and they've just been put into the slideshow. And I'll actually put some of those photos in a Dropbox folder in a link down below in the description. So you can download some of those photos and check them out for yourself and actually see how sharp this lens is and how it performs at 1.4. The only time it wasn't sharp at 1.4 was me. User error, basically. 
if this lens was a thousand US dollars, I would still say it's worth the money, but it's not. It's 369 US dollars for a 50 mil 1.4 Leica M mount lens. Outstanding. TT Artisan have done an amazing job with this and I can't wait to see what other lenses are gonna bring out. Companies like this make it more affordable for people to shoot with M cameras. Because when you buy an M camera, it's not just the camera, it's the lenses that cost. They cost a lot of money. This will make it very easy for somebody to buy a nice secondhand M camera, digital or film, and have a 50 mil F1.4 lens and go out and shoot and create images. And that's what it's about. That's the whole point of owning the camera is you wanna go out and create images. And this 50 mil is just beautiful. The images that come out of this are outstanding. Very, very highly recommended. Now I'm gonna leave you guys with a slideshow. All of the colored photos in the slideshow were shot with the M10P, and all the black and white photos were shot on the M6 with Ilford HP5. And some of those photos will be in a Dropbox folder, and the link will be down below in the description. So check that out, and you can download some of the photos and check them out for yourselves. I think you'll be quite surprised actually how sharp and how good the images from this lens on the M10P are. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a like, and remember to subscribe to the channel. More videos like this coming soon. Let me know what you think of the lens. Let me know if you're gonna purchase the lens or if you have any other TT Artisan lenses and what you think of them. As always, thank you so much for watching.